Well, the 43rd season of Survivor kicks off tonight, and we're going to have some hometown representation on the island. Yes, we are. 25 year old Paralympian Noelle Lambert from New Hampshire will be competing for the million dollar prize. Joining us now, WBZ's Paula Evan. Welcome to the Morning Mix. Hi, guys. Good morning. This so is like fun your debut on Morning Mix. I know. My old stomping grounds. She's, She's like, very long. Don't ago. make me wake up this early That's consistently, <laughs> though. I know. Um, you spoke with Noelle oh. about her time on Survivor. So, what can we expect this I season? I have to say, I have rarely met a, a person this impressive mm -hmm. in my entire life. I mean, she leaves you with just an amazing feeling that she is unstoppable. She is the first above-the-knee amputee wow. to compete on the show. There have been two other people who had amputations below the knee. But Noelle told me one of the biggest challenges that she faced going in was preparing to switch out her prosthetic legs based wow. on the challenges. I had the opportunity every time I went into a challenge, I got to look at it and say, okay, I need my running blade. And I had to, I got, I was able to actually, you know, take my water leg off, put my running blade on, and I was good to go. Wow, so you had a wrench with you? I did. Well, they gave it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't have it by myself, you know, because right. you can't have anything that will help you in the game. But luckily, I mean, knowing that, that really made me feel comfort, like comfort because I had no idea what to expect, and they were just really... They calm me down a lot because, yeah. you know, I had millions of questions. You were allowed to have a little control. Yes, exactly. So some of you might remember Noelle's story, but if you don't, she is a former My UMass is Lowell Lowe lacrosse player, a Division I athlete, and she had, unfortunately, a moped accident on Martha's Vineyard after her freshman year. So after she lost her leg, uh, talk about grit and determination. She decided to come back to UMass. She returned and scored in her first game back as a wow. lacrosse player. Then she picked up track and field, competed in the Paralympic Games in Tokyo where she set an American record. And now she has, over the last five years, run the Born to Run Foundation, which provides specialized prosthetics to other amputees. So she's wow. taken everything that's happened to her and turned it into helping other people and just these constant achievements and tonight at the high street place food hall in boston the born to run foundation is having a premier party a watch party and fundraiser so if you'd like to go it's at seven o'clock you can donate at the door and watch noelle's debut on the premiere of survivor 43 43 it's in sounds. fiji uh here on wbz and you say her mom is a diehard survivor fan her mom judy who helps run the foundation by the yeah. way um has never missed a minute of Survivor, she says, in all the 22 years. But Noelle couldn't tell her anything. Right. Oh because, of course, goodness. she had to sign a non disclosure yep. agreement, and you're not allowed to reveal any of the secrets. So her mom will be watching with the rest of us to see how Noelle did.